What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel for a major update to the collection. Since my last video, we've gotten rid of over 100 figures and we've added over 20 plus six scale figures to the collection. And I felt that this was the perfect timing to get in here and let you see, although the display hasn't changed, we've certainly updated the contents. Now I'm gonna get in here and let you see some of the newest pickups that we've had, some things I'm excited for that will be coming and where they're going to go. I've also been working on my poses. So if you like a pose or you think something could be a little bit better, let me know down in the comments and let me know if I'm on the right track. Also, at the end of this video, I'm gonna answer a huge question people always ask. What do you do with all the accessories that these six scale figures come with? Stay tuned to the end of this video for a little bit of bonus footage where I show you all the different places I keep mine in my storage um, and what I do with that. So we're gonna jump right into this. I hope you enjoy the collection room. We'll call it volume 3.5. All right, let's get into the collection room, volume 3.5. And you may be saying right out of the gate, wow, that is kind of crowded. And I'd agree with you, I'm about two detox short and those are kind of harder to get now than some of the figures. I'm kind of waiting for Ikea to restock those so I can get a couple more, but this will have to do for now. But let's just start right up here at the top. As I said, I only have a very few amount of Black Series figures left. I have the 40th anniversary card back for R2, which I really like. Clone Wars helmet. Clone Wars Vintage Collection. I love the card backs on this Anakin and Obi-Wan. We have the Sideshow Speeder Bike. The Scout is in the cabinet now. I'll show you that in a moment. A couple of the remaining pops I have. Got these from my sister-in-law and Anakin Skywalker, as you know. And a little Easter egg with Jeff Hardy. South Park figures. I have a few troopers from the Black Series left. I actually took these on my honeymoon and uh, took some beach photography with them. I thought that was kind of fun. Have the life-size Groot, baby Groot rather. I do have an Ezra back there. I had that sent in from Entertainment Earth right before I got out of the Black Series game and didn't get a chance to cancel that one. Black Series Infus Nest. I do have the Mandalorian Black Series figures. That's about the only ones I'll collect. Finally did get my Beskar Mando from my local comic shop. So shout out to Replay Toys. I did find this most recently on a toy hunt at Walmart, as well as that from Walmart. And then from Old Republic Collectibles, I have my Darth Revan lightsaber, which is really, really cool, paired with my Darth Revan Black Series figure. A Black Series Rancor from the three and three quarter line, as well as a Gamorrean Guard. And now let's get into some of the big highlight pieces. We have Ultron from Hot Toys. It's a little fragile, but he's big and he doesn't fit in the Detoff, but he looks really cool. Fantastic lightness and really cool when you put the, lightness, uh, the lights in for the batteries. We have the Infinity Gauntlet and of course Thanos himself from Infinity War. And of course we have in-game Thanos, which is one of my favorite figures we have. He is massive as you can see, but he is imposing. I love that blade. I love that head sculpt. Everything about this one is tremendous. But let's go ahead and get into the Detoffs themselves and into the actual collection. As I said, had quite a few updates since the last time we've been in here. So I'd like to show those to you. Been able to get the Wicket and Princess Leia. I know some people were kind of hating on the Wicket, but he's actually pretty good. Pretty cool. Comes with a little nugget there for him. And of course, the Speeder Bike Scout to complete the look. Got a little bit of diorama pieces to go with it. Moving down, we have the Winter Soldiers. Bucky, stealth suit Captain America. Really love this outfit. As well as civilian clothes, Steve Rogers. This is actually the head sculpt from the Age of Ultron version of Cap, which I love because of the outfit, as well as the metal shield that is magnetic to his arm, which makes it a lot easier to display. 
We do have the Civil War Black Panther with a third-party head sculpt, but I think it's pretty good. As well as the Mark VII, the iconic Avengers Iron Man. Got his battle damage pieces on there. Very, very cool. And we have the Incredible Hulk. This thing is huge. He's not in the best pose, but that's the only way I could get him in the detoff. But he is fantastic. Moving over here, we have some more Rogue One figures. And I'll admit I probably overpaid for some of these, but I had to have them. We have Jen Erso, Deluxe Jen Erso, that is, so she can have the rain gear on. We have Cheered Emwe. I believe that's the Deluxe version as well because it comes with the diorama base. And then a very hard to get character is K2SO, probably one of the best droids that Hot Toys has ever done. But he is awesome. He's mainly die cast, but also plastic, but he's sturdy. And that's a sweet looking Rebels shelf if you ask me. Moving down here, we have Director Krennic, Ben Mendelsohn. I do keep his little hat down here. As you know, he comes with his rain gear as well. We have a Remnant Trooper here from The Mandalorian. These are sold out on Sideshow. Hopefully you were able to grab one of those. Because I think they're going to end up being like this Scarif Trooper, which is probably my favorite trooper that I have. And these are very desirable and kind of expensive on the secondary market. But once again, I had to have it because that is a sweet Imperial shelf. And it goes really, really well with the Rogue One people on top. Moving down to kind of a Dagobah training area, you have R2-D2. This is the one from The Force Awakens. This is the one I like because it's a little bit dirtier than the other version. We have C-3PO, which I think his eyes turn on if the batteries are still in it. Yep. There we go. That one's from Sideshow. Hot Toys has not made a version of him yet, but he looks pretty good and holds very well with R2-D2. And we do have Empire Strikes Back Yoda, who comes with these floating rocks effect and a Dagobah base, the lamp, the generator. And then, one of my favorite pickups, we have the DX7. Luke Skywalker from Empire Strikes Back. He came in a two-pack, and I'll show you the battle damage version in just a minute. Not the best head sculpt, but you know, this was kind of early on in the Hot Toys game, one of their first DXs. But I'm not waiting to hope they re-release him. I had to have a Bespin Luke in the display, and I think he looks pretty good. He does come with that confrontation in the cave head. Kind of grim, but kind of cool at the same time. Down here we have the Attack of the Clones, Yoda. Sideshow Django Fett. I do have the Hot Toys version on order. Hopefully that'll come in a couple years. <laughs> then obviously Count Dooku. Very desirable on the aftermarket now. Tough to get. But I love that Clone Wars shelf. I do have Commander Cody coming next week. And he will probably end up be going between these two, but we'll talk about them in just a minute. Let's flip on over here to the Pirate Shelf. We have a knockoff of Davy Jones because the Hot Toys version is really expensive. And then the DX15, I think, is what this one is. Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow from Stranger Tides. I mean, that is one of the best head sculpts you will find. That is incredible. And you can move the eyes on that one too. Love these two together. These look fantastic. And look at that diorama base. And yes, the heart of Davy Jones is inside. If you're wondering. Moving down here to the Spider-Man shelf. We have my personal favorite Spider-Man, that being the Scarlet Spider. We have Spider-Man 2099. 
Not the easiest to pose because of the suit material, but overall, he is a really cool looking figure. And then a figure that is super easy to pose because of the material is the homemade suit, Spider-Man Far From Home. This one does not come with the head sculpt, because who would really display that really? It does come with the base, with the drone, which I think is pretty cool. And you can get the drone separately if you want Mysterio, which I do have on pre-order, and hopefully that comes out eventually. Moving down here, we have Tony Stark and some Iron Men. Now, if you have any of the Hot Toys Iron Men, you know they come with Tony Stark head sculpts, but they don't make a Tony Stark. So I end up getting a third-party uh, third body, kind of like a Barbie doll, and end up getting this custom nanotech suit and put the Mark 47 head sculpt on it. And I think it looks pretty good. Speaking of, we do have the Mark 47, one of my personal favorite Mark Iron Men's. This is the re-release that they did so I didn't have to pay $1,200 for it. This is my first Iron Man figure, the Mark IV from Iron Man 2, which I think is really cool. The last Iron Man I'll get is the Mark 85, whenever that comes out. And then these two, you just have to have together. We do have Hawkeye, and we have Natasha Black Widow. And together, they complete their in-game scene and they just look fantastic together. Had to get them both. Now, moving here to some of my favorite pieces in the entire collection. And as I told you, my favorite figure of all is Dark Side Anakin Skywalker. Love this figure. As you know, he comes with the really cool base. I wish he could stand on it in the Detoff, but he doesn't fit. We have Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi. And an Easter egg that no one got from the last time is that he's on a base and Anakin is not because he has the high ground. It does come with that little hollow table, which I think is kind of cool. And then Deadpool just sitting in there because why not? Moving down here, we have the highly desirable Trooper from Solo, the Patrol Trooper. Definitely going up on the secondary market. I love the green in the eyes, really cool. And then we have the ultimate dynamic duo, Chewbacca the Wookiee and Han Solo. And I was proud of that pose, just kind of leaning in there with that Han-like swagger. Pretty cool. Now what everyone probably wants to see is this shelf. We have some pieces from the Mandalorian. Have the Incinerator Trooper, which is really, really cool. The backpack is kind of a pain in the butt to get on, and I'm really not happy with it still, of how it sits, but nonetheless. Then we have the Star of the Attraction, the Mandalorian. And yes, I have the Beskar version on the road, or on the way, so hopefully that comes eventually. Very cool base. The bloody stormtrooper head and then this is a recent pickup this is a gentle giant 1-6 bust of Beskar Mando and I got that from another comic book shop here in town that being Rick's Comic City and then everybody's favorite hello we have the child life-size from sideshow and I love this thing a lot of people don't know if they want this one or the Hot Toys version. This one's going to do it for me because it's the most like the original. Legacy Effects put this one together, which is the company that made the puppet. So as far as realism, I don't think you'll get a better one. And I don't really pose him around very much, so that's going to be it. I don't need the Hot Toys one. But if anyone wants to gift him to me, I'll take it. As I said, Cody is coming, and he'll probably end up going right there between Obi-Wan and Anakin, but we'll figure that out next week when he gets here. Moving on to another classic, we have Grand Moff Tarkin, A New Hope Darth Vader. And I think I said the last time, this is probably the best Darth Vader that Hot Toys has done. The likeness, the size, 
everything is perfect on him. Have the normal Stormtrooper to kind of complete this Imperial display. Moving down, we have the full Imperial display with Sheev Palpatine himself and his Royal Guard. The Royal Guard is actually uh, quite desirable on the secondary market as well. I'm happy to have both of these. Moving down, we have the Skywalker twins. Got Leia looking beautiful in her Bespin outfit. As well as Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. This is the original release. This is the original release of Deluxe Boba Fett. I know they re-released him again, and you can put the Return of the Jedi version of his outfit on if you want. That's an option for you as well. And then we have Deadpool and Cable. Deadpool was my first hot toy I ever got from Rick's Comic City. And we have the Toys Era, the mechanical, is what he's called it is a unlicensed third party but I do have the other cable from Hot Toys coming in about another year or so but until then that'll do just fine but in typical Deadpool fashion same pose mirroring each other I think that's fun moving over here one of my prized pieces is the DX07 Bespin Luke Skywalker battle damaged and as most DX releases, you can move the eyes around. Comes with a severed hand. Really cool display base. Pretty graphic, got some blood on the whole part of his sleeve there. And then got his daddy, Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader. And these two look fantastic together and I love that display base can't beat it. This part is my most recent pickup, that being Solo Darth Maul. And this is probably one of my new favorite figures. And the more I look at it, I was real skeptical on the head sculpt since it's because he looks older than that version, naturally. But the detail on the costume, the sweet saber, and just something a little bit different. He's growing on me by each day. And he obviously comes with the mechanical legs. Look at these things. Very, very cool. And we have Qui-Gon Jinn. I went ahead and opted for the parka or jacket, whatever you want to call this thing that he wore on Tatooine. Got to make sure his laser sword, as Anakin calls it. But he's a big figure, he's a tall guy. And he looks awesome right next to DX-17 Darth Maul. And as you can see, between the two head sculpts, this one's definitely sharper, different colors. And then I do keep the other head sculpt down there, just so you can see them all. Because I may want to swap it out at any time. And the best thing about these Darth Mauls is that all the head sculpts are interchangeable. So if you wanna put the young sculpt on that body, you certainly can. Now this is something I didn't think I would do, but I ended up having Ben Solo from, or I'm sorry, Kylo Ren rather, from The Last Jedi. And I had Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi. But I was like, I really need a Rey. As much as I don't like the sequel trilogy, these figures are gorgeous. It's probably one of the best Daisy Ridleys that you'll get. I feel like they get worse as the movies go on, as far as Hot Toys goes. But that iconic scene, Resistance Ray, got a great deal on her. And then this is kind of Ultimate Edition Ray. I mean, look at that head sculpt. Look at that outfit. And that is the Sphero BB-8. That is not a Hot Toys BB-8, but it fits perfectly in here. And I love this. She really grew on me. In my alternate world, I consider this to be Ray Kenobi or something. And moving on to the final Detoff, we have the Guardians of the Galaxy. We have Deluxe Star-Lord with Baby Groot. 
This is the Volume 2 version, not the Infinity War. And I think this one's better overall. I think the head sculpt's better. The accessories are better. And we have Yondu, Michael Rooker. Potentially the best head sculpt Hot Toys has ever done. And that looks awesome. And they look great together. When Gamora finally releases, she will be right there. And I do have Nebula on the way, and I think I'll probably put her up there with Thanos. Simply because I am out of room right now. Moving down here, we have Infinity War Doctor Strange. Looks awesome. Gave him the sword and some magic rings. Put him on the dynamic stand. We have kind of a kit bash with the patch on the eye. But he looks awesome. We do have Infinity War Captain America. This was on the Last Chance page. Same with Bucky from Sideshow. And I was like, I need to get these guys. I don't want to miss on getting them. And especially with Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming out. I mean, look how good that head sculpt is. That looks incredible. That metal arm. I'm going to get that arm, as Rocket says. And it comes with an Outrider for the base. And speaking of Rocket, the final shelf... Here we have Rocket from Guardians 1, Groot, I love this, I love that head sculpt, it comes with both of them, and we have Stan the Man from Guardians of the Galaxy. So that is it of what we currently have. As I said, I have Cody coming, I have Nebula coming, I have a Death Trooper coming, so I do need to move a couple things around to be able to get everything to fit in here. But this is the collection, volume 3.5. So now let's take a look quickly on what I do with all the accessories that these things come with. So here it is, simply put, Hot Toys and Six Scale figures are simply premium format figures, so they come with a lot of stuff with a lot of hands, with a lot of accessories, head sculpts, especially if you're talking about Iron Man. I mean, you get a lot of different things. But as you collect more figures, you collect more stuff. And how do you keep them organized? I use tackle boxes. This is just kind of a standard tackle box. I'm eventually gonna kind of get them all uniform. I kind of like this version better, um, just because it lays out a little bit better. Let me show you here real quick. And that's just a little version of it. But um, yeah, you can lay everything out in here nicely. That way, whenever you want to change anything out, you can do it pretty easily. So that's where I keep all my accessories at a moment's notice whenever I want to change something up. But naturally, all these come with boxes. So what do I do with those? Follow me and I'll show you as we wrap it up. Well, I will show you in real time what I do here because I just got these two in and they need to go into storage. And my wife probably won't make it to the end of this video, so she probably won't see this. This is where I keep them all. This is where the boxes go. All 60 plus, almost 70, six scale figures, because as you know, the box is kind of everything when you are collecting these. But as far as the eye can see, they're back there. And a majority of everything up here is my boxes and some Christmas decorations, which, which we just put out. And that's about it. So what do you guys do for collecting? Do you guys keep the boxes? I certainly do. I know it helps the resale value if you ever need to get rid of them. And plus they're kind of works of art. Look how pretty those things are. Very, very cool. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed a little look into my collection, volume 3.5. As soon as I get another Detoff or two, we'll kind of rearrange some things and go from there. But if you've not done so already, like, subscribe to the channel, share this video with somebody. Let me know down in the description or rather in the comments what your favorite figure was and maybe what you're picking up. And I will see you in our next video.